Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our grammar virtual class. The topic for today is direct and indirect object. Now here, you must be wondering why Miss is doing the same topic again. Well, here, here's the reason why I'm doing the same topic is because uh, I was not very satisfied with the assignment which you have submitted to me for the previous uh, in our uh, for, the, for the previous video lesson okay so I felt the need to reteach this topic again but this time with more examples okay so that it will be easy it will become uh, it will be easier for you to grasp the idea of direct and indirect object much better okay so let's get started In an English sentence, the subject and the verb usually comes before the direct and indirect objects. If you know how to, how to identify what the subjects and verbs are, finding the direct and indirect objects will not be that hard for you. So, what is a direct object? It is a noun or pronoun that receives the action of the verb in the sentence now students we have all we already know that what is the subject we already know that subject is the person or thing doing the action now what is the verb verb is the action right and what is an object object is the person or thing receiving the action performed by the subject and also to identify the object to identify the direct object in a sentence, we have to ask the question, whom or what? Or in other words, a direct object answers the question, whom or what? Now here, again, one more question here. So whom, when do we ask whom, how, how do we, like when do we ask whom or when do we ask what? Now there must be confusion going on. Now here, I'll uh, let me tell you. Whom stands for a person and what stands for a thing, okay? So, depending on whether the object is a thing or a person, then we can ask the question whom or what. I hope this is clear. Now, let's go to the next slide. So, here is an example. Jimmy likes dogs. The first thing that we need to do is to identify the subject and the verb in the sentence. Now here, the subject is Jimmy. That is, Jimmy is the person who is doing the action. And what is the verb? What is the, what is the action? The action is likes. Next, to identify the direct object, you have to ask the question, what or whom? about the verb likes so what does jimmy likes now here i am asking the question what not whom because i told you whom stands for person and what stands for a thing or animal okay it, it, it can be a thing or animal as well okay so here what does jimmy likes jimmy likes dogs so we get the answer dogs therefore dogs is the direct object it receives the action likes that means the dog is the direct receiver of the action like that means the action like is going upon the dog did you get it okay let's see one more example sarah hates her classmates now what we have to do first we have to identify the subject and the verb so here we also we have Sarah as the subject and hate as the verb. Next, ask the question what or whom. So what what question do we use? Whom or what? Whom, right? Because here we have classmates, the word classmates. Now here, classmates is a person, right? So whom does Sarah hate? Sarah hates her classmates 
For example, if it has, uh, if the example is Sarah hates homework, then homework is a thing, right? So we can ask a question: What does Sarah hates, right? So here's similarly here we can ask: Whom does Sarah hates? Because it's a person. So the answer is Sarah hates her classmates. Therefore, classmates is the object. Next example: Mom gave me a present. Now here, the subject here is mom and the verb is gave. Now here, what did mom give? What did mom give? So here, a present. Yes, you know, a present is a thing. So I'm asking the question what, right? So here, a present is therefore, the word present is therefore the direct object in this sentence.